We'll take a quick break on Extra, then Fipsies at the Barbie with a special way to cook the perfect perch. Hello, coming up, a mother pleads for the safe return of her baby snatched from his hospital cot. Three hurt after homemade bombs explode at Wynnum High School. And an exclusive look at the latest Hollywood blockbuster filmed on the Gold Coast. See you in a moment. Get me paper we can rely on. Yes, sir. Set reliable. Reflex. Good. For all your office equipment, always rely on Reflex. Better get some more then. Jump to it. At Forest Ridge Home World, many of the home designs are so new, they've never been seen before. So, come and see for yourselves. Oh, it's gorgeous in here. Drive north along the Bruce Highway, take the second Deception Bay exit and follow the signs. The adult brain can absorb an extraordinary amount of information. The brain of a child, even more. The vital ingredients for brain function are potassium and vitamin B6. Or in kids' language, a banana. A chicken this succulent will cost you hours in the kitchen. This mountain of chips will cost you more time peeling. Potatoes and gravy would set you back time with the kids. Peas, an afternoon shelling. Six nuggets and garlic bread will cost you more trouble than it's worth. And baking the apple pie could cost you your sanity. But right now at Red Rooster, the family banquet will cost you just $19.95. And it's ready right now. It's Windows 95's first birthday and Harvey Norman celebrate with this exclusive offer. This Friday and Saturday, save a massive $100 off the normal selling price of Windows 95. It was $159, now you can save $100, but be quick, this is a two-day offer only. We're also drastically reducing prices on computers, printers, scanners, modems and software. Save up to 70% on some items, software from as little as $2. Harvey Norman's exclusive offer, $100 off Windows 95 and savings of up to 70% on selected items, two days only. Windows 95's first birthday celebrations this Friday and Saturday at Harvey Norman only. The retirement village residents in the fight of their lives. I may not have even five years to live. Let me live in peace here. The landowners doubled their rent and wants them out. No doubt it's about money. I'm happy here and I've been happy for 25 years. But let them try moving this feisty bunch. We'll fight them to the bitter end. We've got plenty of going this yet. Plus, there's a restraining order on him, but he's just a 12-year-old schoolboy. He pushed me over. I went home and told my mum. This boy just doesn't stop. Would you please say? That's next. Well, a beautiful day around Brisbane today. And with a quick look at the weather and fishing conditions for the weekend, here's Gary Howard. And what can we expect, Gary? Well, Rick, those winds that are blowing behind me from the northeast are expected to ease tonight, leaving us with fairly good conditions both Saturday and Sunday. The outlook from the Weather Bureau at this stage for tomorrow, we're looking at south westerlies first thing in the morning, 5 to 10 knots. Afternoon, south to southeast, 10 to 15 knots, with seas to around about 0.9 of a metre in open parts of the bay. Sunday looking quite good, pick of the days actually, variable winds to 10 knots. If you're heading offshore tomorrow, south westerlies 10 to 15. Uh, in the afternoon, we've got south easterlies coming through to around about 15 knots and 1.5 metres out there. Sunday, 10 to 15 knots from the southeast offshore. Tide times at the Brisbane Bar, if you are going to go out and have a fish, low tide this evening at 11.02pm and high tide tomorrow morning, nice and early, 4.42am and low tide again at 10.54am tomorrow morning. Well, it sounds like we've got two days in a row that we could actually go fishing. It's been a while since that happened and there's a few uh, fish starting to move around the estuaries, thank goodness. This warm weather, you'll find a few flatheads, particularly in the northern end of the bay at the moment, around Hayes Inlet, Pummerstone Passage and the mouth of Burpengarry Creek. Some diver whiting around, and if you're fortunate enough to get out shore, try their shallower reefs, a few nice squire moving in those areas. All right, well, the best of luck when you throw the line in. Thanks, Gary. Talk to you next week. And still on fish, there are so many different tastes. If you don't have a favourite, Fipsy might have a new flavour for you tonight. He's doing pearl perch in a light wine sauce, and I'm drooling already. Here, Fishy. If I was these fish, I'd be a bit worried, but not as worried as what we're going to cook today. Have a look at this. This is the pearl perch arguably the best eating fish in the world. They call it the pearl perch because of this little hard bit they have here on top of the gill rakes. Looks just like a pearl. And we've filleted, skinned and boned this fish and I'm going to show you a really simple way of preparing it. We take our fillet and half a cup of flour and we put it into a plastic bag. Put the fish in there 
Make a bit of a cocktail, give it a bit of a shake around. And this is great because you don't make a mess of the kitchen. My wife really likes when I cook like this, because I can be a bit messy. There we go, give it a good shake up. And the advantage of this, as you can see, you get a really good coverage of flour. Okay, now I'm gonna take a tablespoon of butter and put it into a hot pan. There we go. And we get that nice browning of the butter. That's called Bernoisette. Shake off the excess flour. Centre your butter in the middle of the pan and put your presentation side, which is your high side, straight down into the top of the butter. And you want to let that seal off for about a minute. OK, time to flip this. Over she goes and you see the beautiful coloration you get from the butter. And you only get that with butter. You can't get that nice colour with oil. We're going to take some basil, about two tablespoons, throw that in a grind of cracked black pepper, and always remember to season fish to your own taste. I never use salt, because I don't think seafood needs salt. And we're going to take a full cup of white wine and put that in there, and we're just going to let that poach away in its own juices for about a minute and a half to two minutes, depending on the size of the fish you've got. OK, now that's had enough time, and what we want to do to check if it's cooked is to take a fork and just place it in. If you've got no resistance, you know the fish is cooked. That's great. Okay, so we just very carefully take it out. Oh, I'm going to lose it. And put it on our plate, like so. And just reduce this sauce a little bit. And this keeps the fish nice and moist and really locks in the flavour. And the great thing about cooking in a pan like this, you've got all your wonderful pan juices that go back over the top of the fish. Let that reduce, that's looking good. Okay, off with the gas. We splash that wonderful sauce with all the basil over the top. And there you have it, pearl, perch in white wine and basil. A gem of a recipe. See you next week. Looks great. Thanks, Fipsy. If you want that recipe again, you can call him on the free Fipsy line, 1800 151 070. Well, now to Monday on Extra and the best way to put a roof over your head. Do you buy an established home or buy to your liking or build to your liking? The right decision can save you $15,000 on the average price house. And Mrs Frugal's back to save you money on your grocery bill. Our budget mum, Simple Secrets, will cut a quarter off the cost of feeding your family. That's Monday. If you want more on our stories tonight, don't forget the free extra info line, 1800 816 999. Until Monday, have a great weekend from everyone here. Good night. With Bruce Page and Heather Ford, this is National Mind News. Mother pleads for her sick baby, snatched from a hospital. Three students hurt as homemade bombs explode at Wynnum High School. A payday at last for the crushers. Good evening. Good evening. It's now more than 24 hours since a seriously ill baby was abducted from a Sydney hospital.